Hi, I'm Gabby from Everest Garden Supply. I want to talk to you a little bit about the root maker system. As most of you know, that when you grow in normal containers, roots tend to get wrapped. And circling roots or wrapped roots can actually strangle the plant if they're left too long. So with the root maker system, one of the main benefits is that they stop root wrapping. So the way they work is normally the roots would just it reach the outside and wrap. Well, with our container, when the root hits the side wall, it starts to turn and it hits this wall where it's directed towards the air hole where it's pruned. Now, what happens is that root tip gets dehydrated and because it can't grow forward anymore, it branches out. Now, those root branches reach out to the side wall where they're directed towards the air holes and the same process is repeated over and over again. This is the Root Builder 2. This is another version of a root pruning container made by Rootmaker. And the main difference that you can see is that there's a lot more air holes on it. And you may notice that there are these bumps on the container that are pointed downwards. So what happens is when the roots reach out, as they normally do, they instantly find these air holes. And because these bumps are facing downwards, what happens is if you get the root pointing downwards, it can't turn around to escape that air hole. Um, it's very important that we try to force the roots into the air hole and make it so that they can't escape. Another thing about all of our air pruning containers is that they have root directing bottoms which are designed to not allow the roots to circle on the bottom and to direct them instantly towards the air holes where they're pruned. Now I've shown you the root maker container. The root maker container comes in these sizes right here. We've got a five gallon, a three gallon, and you'll notice one thing that's really cool about them is that they're the same height for the five and three gallon because very often in indoor gardening, height is an important issue. So we've got a five gallon, a three gallon. We've got a one gallon round and a one gallon square. Um, one gallon square pots are very popular, so we're really pleased to announce that we've got a one gallon square container. Let me show you how we assemble the Root Builder 2s. The Root Builder 2s come with three parts. You've got the sidewall, you've got the root directing base, and then it comes with some zip ties. First thing you want to do is make sure that these bumps are pointing downwards. Okay? Then you're going to take the disc and you put it on the bottom row. It's even possible to raise it up higher if you can use these outdoors in a muddy condition. That way you can make sure that um, the roots are getting pruned and that they're not just growing into the ground. So now all we do is just gently wrap this con the side walls around the base, get a zip tie, poke it through, feed it right back, and we've attached the bottom. Repeat the process and there you have it. The Root Builder 2 currently comes in these sizes. We have a 3 gallon and a 5 gallon. Um, we're working on some smaller sizes. Hopefully by the time this video comes out we're going to have a one gallon, a two gallon, and hopefully a ten gallon as well. Um, we also sell this material in an 18 inch and a 34 inch tall roll, which is nice because you can use it to make giant containers for outdoors um, simply by wrapping the material in whatever diameter you want and attaching it with zip ties. So I've explained how air pruning works. I want to tell you about another method of root pruning that we use here at Rootmaker, and this is called root trapping. So these bags are the Root Trapper 2s. The way they work is this material inside is very similar to Velcro to the root tip. So what happens is when the root grows into it, it gets stuck. And because it can't grow forward anymore, it's forced to branch out. So the advantage to these containers over air pruning containers is that they can serve water. Um, because they're white, they stay cooler, and they can serve water. 
I want to show you. I've been growing these tomato plants in front of my store. They're both the same age. And what you're seeing is this plant has more than twice the mass that this does in the same amount of time. And if you can see closely, we've already got fruit that's been growing on this for over a week. And it's putting out its next tomatoes right up here. We have flower sites all over the plant, um, significantly more developed. On this tomato plant, it just got its first fruit. Okay, I mean, th this just happened literally yesterday, and we've got a couple of fruit sites on top, but not nearly as much. Now, the main reason why this happened, let me move these out of the way, is because of the temperature. Um, I measured the temperature in these two containers, and in the white one, our temperature was 86 degrees, and in the black one, our temperature was 94 degrees. So we didn't get a chance to actually root prune yet because these containers, these plants have only been in these containers for a matter of weeks. So the difference in growth, the biggest reason, uh, the biggest thing we can attribute it to is the fact that the root systems were staying that much cooler. Um, these root trapper bags come in a variety of sizes. We've got them everything from one gallon up to, we can get them custom made to 500 gallon. We stock them in 150 gallon. Um, right here, I've got a 45 gallon. Another thing that's nice about these bags is that you can make an instant raised bed. So let's say you wanted to set up a vegetable garden, but you didn't want to break out the two by fours to build a raised bed. It was just too much work or you didn't have the time to do it. These bags or even the Root Builder 2 material allows you to make an instant raised bed that actually enhances root production where you have to be careful with what type of wood you use, that you could be putting some toxins into your plants. And like I said, it's just no work. And probably these bags cost you a lot less than you're going to spend in the materials to make a raised bed. I also wanted to talk to you guys about our propagation systems. And we have these two flats over here. And then we have our 16 shuttle tray. We call this the 16 shuttle tray because you buy these in units of 16 and we have a tray that holds them up. Um, as you can see, these have the root directing sides. It's going to be a lot easier to see that on this container than with these propagation trays. But the idea is the same, is when you're growing your cuttings or your seedlings, you, it's really important that you get a good start. If you start them in a standard cell pack, and they get all wrapped up. Now everything we do after that point is to try to fix you know, the errors that we made. So getting a good start is important. We suggest you use the Root Maker uh, flats or the Express 16 when starting your cuttings or seedlings. Another point that I want to make about these containers is that they're a durable product. Unlike other root stimulators, the one-time cost for these containers is going to give you years of enhanced root production. For more information, contact Everest Garden Supply at 888-347-2007 or find us at everestgardensupply.com.